Hello and welcome to All Quanto Panel Innovation Seekers. And believe me, if you're not yet one, you will become one. Are you looking to be more effective when designing a control panel? Want to have a standard die solution no matter where your customer is and no matter where the control panel will be installed? Whether you need to save time in engineering, in documentation, product selection, optimizing your time to global markets, no worries, we can support you. A large number of international and country-specific standards pose major technical and logistical challenges for machine and system builders in control cabinet construction. In many ways, a unified design of electrical equipment for global markets can offer significant competitive advantages. Siemens can support electrical engineers at this point not only with a globally certified portfolio, but also with extensive know-how, advice and practical tips because a globally standardized cabinet design is demanding but possible. For industrial control panels in your country, you often have to comply with local or international standards. In Europe, for instance, you will talk about IEC 6204-1, in the US, UL 508A, and in Canada, the fairly new CSA 22.2 number 286. Maybe in some of your countries you're used to a local standards based in IEC 61439 series. Keep in mind, this standard is primarily developed for power distribution boards and cabinets. But actually, the IEC 6204-1 is the one for industrial control panels. The vast majority of panel builders out in the world always design control panels under 61439 series. They need to know this and you need to know this. Our main global website, that you see here, siemens.com slash control panel, provides assets, reference manuals, white papers, video tutorials, weight-based trainings, and even software tools. It's all about the electrical engineering for industrial machinery and industrial control panels. We also invite you to visit it. For those looking for innovations, competitive advantages, follow us in the series of videos where we will show you how to save time space and of course how easy it is to implement now thank you all and stay tuned for the series of videos